What's going on everybody, it's Frito here for your Overwatch. This time we're going to be breaking down a shot calling Lucio gameplay, attacking on Numbani, but also discussing a bit of a plague on the Overwatch community, and it's the assumptions that certain heroes are lesser, and because of that, it seems that they have a natural drop in popularity and usage, whereas in reality, all of the heroes in this game are difficult to play and deserve certain respect in the playmaking capabilities that they have. Now, if you don't have the physical capabilities that play the hardest characters, that doesn't necessarily mean you are an unskilled player, because there's a lot of other ways that you can shine in the roles that you're playing. Like, there's a huge difference between a Mercy that simply just kind of wanders around healing and gets picked off constantly, versus a Mercy that can hide tenaciously and fly in and get a huge res. The difference between making those big plays and not making them is vital to the team and also defines you as a player. Now, I've mentioned this in my previous video, what is a dive comp, that here was a little bit easier in the skill set department, should naturally assume shot calling responsibilities. And I think that's what Lucio facilitates the most because if you're gonna be playing ranked, if you're gonna be trying to play the pro style of game, and improve to the best of your ability, you have to be realistic and say, am I really a Hanzo main? Am I really a Genji player? Or am I better suited using my game sense and communication capabilities in order to facilitate the win? Because a huge percentage of Overwatch is actually tied up in teamwork, not individual carry. Oftentimes individual carry plays maybe even like a fourth of the reason why a team wins and simple coordination plays a much bigger role so right away in this game i notice we get an early pick off on our team we lose the opening frag battle and like i said on king's row what do i say just wait for six why why run into them man down them have the complete advantage they're at range spamming into an area why walk into that and simply die feed the molt charge and waste this push we wait 20 seconds get our teammates back speed boost around the side that we think they're not coordinating on as much and then form our attack that way we isolate zari here and me and leem or weagle do attempt a little bit of shake and bake dovetailing positioning maneuvers and if i waited just a little bit longer on my boop i could have booped the zarya and i'm just looking back at it and i think to myself i don't play lucio enough but that is the type of example of huge play that a character that you might think is just some healer oh he's just a healer he doesn't make big plays that he can make right if i step in front of that zarya there and protect liam we almost did and allow my dps to survive by body blocking for him that's a huge play if i hold my boop just a few more seconds until the zarya gets to the top of the stairs and i boop her off getting a frag from a support role who's not even supposed to be a dps class instantly win the point just on that alone now we ended up winning the point easily because of the positioning that we had zarya traded one for one we were able to out position them Regardless, we have attacker's advantage with the respawn advantage closer to the payload. But regardless, you have to learn the entirety of Overwatch and to respect those different aspects of the game. You shouldn't have this expectation of yourself that you're just so skilled that you deserve to be the star player doing the hardest job. Because in reality, you might not even be ready for this job that I'm describing now. Can you even play Lucio? Because if you can't play Lucio, what's the point of you trying to play Genji? Because ultimately, a Genji player should understand all the things that a Lucio player does he just has a slightly harder mechanical skill set. You both have projectiles, you both have timings that you have to go on, you both have to work as a team, but one of them has a higher skill cap, and that's okay. You know, we can admit that some characters are harder than others, but there is no easy character, right? Because there's fundamental Overwatch play. Here we catch the Zarya out in a 2v1 once again. Exploit that positioning. As soon as you see it, I speed boost in. We have the man advantage. We're about to hit the checkpoint. I know that they're going to start to panic and start to pop ults, so I preemptively pop my sound barrier to prepare ourselves to go into their attacks. The enemy McCree's hitting high noon. Now he's going to need like three more seconds of charge on time McCree's just standing there with his hand in his pocket wondering is it high noon yet no it's like 9 a.m you're way off reset your clock McCree right and, and we were just able to overwhelm them based upon my Lucio shot calling and my Lucio timings now obviously everyone else is doing their job too but respecting the roles in Overwatch is how you're actually going to develop as a player because I see a lot of people players that I'm either teaching or randoms that I match up with that just seem to 
find characters like Reinhardt or Lucio, icky. Like they don't want to touch these characters. No, no, no. You don't understand. I'm a Hanzo player. I'm I'm basically Siegel's cousin. I have the sickest aim. I'm going to carry this team. When in reality, there's so much minutia of Overwatch wrapped up in these characters that have a higher skill ceiling than meets the eye. Now, granted, they're not as high as hitting headshots every time like Tai Mu on McCree, but they're fundamental to the way the game plays. Respect the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this video is about. And also to some degree, respect your own skill set in that don't overweigh what you're capable of playing in ranked. Don't be that guy who is insistent on playing a sniper class when in reality that's something you should be doing in quick play and you don't necessarily have the skills to play at a high level. Learn the game entirely. It's a beautiful game. Every character in this game has big playmaking opportunity, and that's something I wish the community would respect more. It isn't everybody, but it just seems like there's a subset that just wants to play the squishy DPS characters, like they're playing Call of Duty or some trick shot simulator, and that's not what Overwatch should be, in my opinion. I don't think there's a single hero in Overwatch that feels bad to play, so try them all. If you think a character like Lucio or Mercy or Reinhardt is boring, have you actually mastered what they're capable of? Have you actually respected the full responsibility of what they bring to the team? Because I saw a comment on our channel like a month ago, who can't play Lucio? All you have to do is heal and push E once in a while. Which yes, if you're playing a quick play, maybe that's all you're doing. Just kind of derping around, not really paying attention, sort of healing here and there. But at the highest level of Lucio play, you should be dictating the entire pace of the team push. When you engage, when you disengage, you should be focus firing the priority targets, isolating players out of position, just like anybody else. Your gun just does a little less damage. And the playmaking opportunities of his boop are um, immense, actually. Whether it gets entire frags or crowd controls to protect your team. Every character has these potentials inside of them. So learn them, respect them, and we could be one step closer to having a better Overwatch community. Love to know what you guys think about this topic. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. It really does help us out. Subscribe to the channel. We upload each and every day. We also live stream on Twitch as our videos go live. Today, I will be on the live stream. Come on over right now and be sure to hit follow and make sure you set up for email notifications so you can see when we go live. That's been it for me today. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.